Bass Coast uh, Councillor uh, Brett Tassari, our Deputy Mayor, uh, Councillor Whelan, Councillor Fullerton, Councillor Alice and guests and of course our uh, Jordan Krugnali, our Labor uh, candidate for Bass and all guests welcome. What a beautiful day for this. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this wonderful island, the Bunurong and the Bunurong people who are members of the Kulin Nation. I'd also like to recognise uh, their continuing connection to the land, the water and the community and I'd like to pay our respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. Minister, welcome to Phillip Island again. Uh, welcome Basco Shire. I'd like to thank you and your government on behalf of our local community for something like $70 million worth of um, investment, state government funding, which is currently being invested um, on projects on the island. The projects that are currently underway, or just about to start, include the iconic Penguin Parade Centre, the, uh, the transit hub, the medical hub, there's road infrastructure, police station, and of course this jetty triangle and the uh, piazza redevelopment. So this shire is the um, second most dependent economy on tourism in Australia. It's, and it's projects like this one, the transit hub, and, the, um, and like the cultural and, and uh, the community centre, which will allow us to move towards reaching our potential and become the world-class tourist destination that we deserve to be and certainly are. There's a feeling of confidence here. I think we all feel it. And, um, we all know that a confident environment percolates through to business, the business sector and it encourages private investment to follow. We're now 10 days into this year, that's 2018. And this is a really special year. It's the year of our sesquicentennial. And what a better way to kick off celebrating our 150th anniversary of closest settlement than to showcase the functional design of a major redevelopment such as the Jetty Triangle and the Piazza redevelopment. Um, this space here is truly the sweet spot in cows. And, and it was identified as such in the Cows Activity Centre in 2015. It served our community as a meeting place and as a centre of activity for such a long time. I've got photos of my great-grandmother here in about 1890s. I've got my great-grandfather who used to depart each Monday morning from this jetty on a ferry to Stony Point to catch the train into uh, he, each week into um, his place of business in Melbourne. So the Jetty Triangle holds an iconic presence and it also has an emotional attachment for many locals and visitors alike. And this redevelopment will surely ensure that it remains the sweet spot in, on this island for generations to come. We thank everybody for their contribution and feedback in the design process. And I think seeing the space enjoyed by many will, will be the evidence of the success of it um, in what has been really a collaborative journey. Now I've got great pleasure in introducing the Minister for Regional Development in the Andrews Labor Government, the Honourable Darla Pulford. Thank you. Anyway, good morning. It's so wonderful to be here. Um, just a stunningly beautiful day and such a, a beautiful location. Um, I'd be, like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we're gathered and to pay my respects to elders, past and present, this beautiful country um, that uh, you know, that we are, you know, we're always conscious of the role of the traditional owners in caring for this land for such a long time as, you know, we do new and different things um, uh, with it and to it uh, for the betterment of the whole community. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge the Mayor, um, Councillor Pamela Rothfield, and um, thank you for sharing with us a little bit of your family history um, that relates to this, to this area. And also to your fellow councillors. And I'd also like to acknowledge Jordan Cragnally, our Labor candidate for Bass um, for the coming state election, which uh, did for a long time seem a long way off, but it'll be, be with us before the end of the year. And so we're very excited to have um, such a strong local representative um, 
that will be putting herself forward here for us in this region. So thank you, Jordan. Now, as, as the Mayor said, tourism is incredibly important for um, this economy, for this community, for Phillip Island, for the Shire. Um, it's a, it's a, an industry of um, undisputed global significance. Um, $11.5 billion contribution to the regional Victorian economy, 114,000 jobs. And in the Bass Shire Coast, alone, visitors contribute $340 million a year and more than 3,000 tourism jobs. Uh, its significance uh, is enormous. Um, we've been doing a lot to supercharge the regional Victorian economy through the Regional Jobs and Infrastructure Fund, the Regional Tourism Infrastructure Fund that's very much focused on those things that will give visitors a, be a better experience. And as we all know, the world um, <coughs> has changed a lot in the last 10 years since we all, you know, learned about smartphones and started to adjust our lives around them. Um, uh, you know, uh, things like TripAdvisor and its equivalents in other languages can make or break um, a tourism dependent economy uh, with, a, with a bunch of bad reviews as it can create a smash runaway hit um, or an overnight sensation. And so, um, it has meant that for all our tourism businesses and tourism communities needing to be constantly investing, constantly ahead of the game and innovating and being really conscious that people get a wonderful, wonderful experience is so important. And so that's very much in our thinking and I know it's in Council's thinking when um, we talk about investing um, in tourism. It's about making sure that when people come, they put in those reviews on saying, this is outstanding, I had a wonderful time, all their friends and family and total strangers alike will see it and experience it. Um, so, the $1.8 million that we announced uh, in the latter part of last year towards the revitalisation of Cows Precinct project is very much about that visitor experience. And today we get to unveil the functional designs for the Jetty Triangle and Piazza, which will be very, very exciting. Um, but the foreshore area is and has always been at the heart of the Cows experience. So this $3.6 million project, and I acknowledge a significant contribution from Council and their leadership in putting this forward, um, will, I think, be great for business confidence and great for that visitor experience. It'll transfer, transform the Jetty Triangle into a beautiful grass terraced area where community events and festivals and markets and things like that can come um, to provide just a wonderful experience, a great benefit for the local community, uh, but a great experience for, for visitors as well. And the transit centre is also all about making sure that people have that great visitor experience. So a whole lot of additional parking, 110 extra car parking spots, um, but also um, enabling much, much better traffic management so cars and buses can move in and around without, um, you know, without creating the kind of chaos that, of course, none of us want to see. Of course, as, um, as Pamela um, mentioned, the government is investing in this region. Um, uh, the Shire is an area that is experiencing significant population growth and um, for us, uh, you know, we see that as a great opportunity to be investing in the infrastructure and services that communities need, um, you know, whether they're uh, big population centres or tiny little communities um, alike. And so whether it's in health or in education services, um, the things that really strengthen the local economy. Um, those transport connections, um, we're making those investments, but um, $48.2 million going on um, just up the road at the Phillip Island Nature Park Visitor Centre. And I um, haven't popped in for a while, but I hear it's all going along um, pretty well, and that's going to be um, very, very exciting. Our challenge um, after that, well, in tandem with that, is to uh, make sure that people have more and more reasons than just that to stop in Phillip Island so that we can really capture the overnight stay and the economic benefits for the community. Um, so, um, let's have a look under the covers, shall we? <laughs>